Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and costumes as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank. Maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be recreating AC, who was one of the members of the California Raisins. And if you don't know who the California Raisins are, they debuted in 1986 as part of a campaign for Sunmade for California Raisins. They were a fictitious band of personified claymation raisins based upon the old African-American blues bands of the past. The raisins were originally conceptualized by the advertising firm Foot, Cone, and Building for a 1986 Sunmade commercial on behalf of the California Raisin Advisory Board. The figures were first developed by Will Benton Productions. The career of the fictitious R&B band was a great success and actually lasted for longer than some real bands do. They lasted from 1986 until 1994. Of course, their biggest hit was I Heard It Through the Grapevine. I think they did all reprises of original songs. I don't think they had any original songs, but they were so good, they went on to record four studio albums and even ranked at number 84 in the top Billboard 100 at one point. And that was in the height of the Raisins career, which is a totally fake band. There were four original Raisins. AC who I believe was the singer, that's who we're doing today, uh, Bebop, S Stretch, and Red. And I think from the names you can pretty much figure out who everyone is, at least with the last three. There were two or three Raisinettes who were female California Raisins, who were the backup singers for the band. And in 1989, the California Raisins even had a short animated TV series that lasted one season with 13 episodes. The demise of the beloved Raisins occurred mostly due to marketing expenses. It was costing more to market the Raisins than the company was actually bringing in selling Raisins. So it ended up just kind of fizzling out, but you can still go online to eBay or Amazon and look up vintage California Raisin paraphernalia t-shirts and figurines and stuffed animals and everything that they had would pop up. So they're still very much a thing. They had a lot of fans. People of the 80s who really enjoyed them still collect their paraphernalia today and are still very big fans. So getting started with today's costume, I just wanted to give you a little bit, bit of background because we won't be talking obviously to do makeup. This is something that we are building together. We're gonna to put over our entire body. And of course, as I have mentioned in previous videos, anytime I have a costume like this, at some point during the evening, you will be taking it off. Um, probably quite a bit to eat, dance, you know, whatever you wanna do. I have mentioned that it's always important to me to maintain face even underneath the costume. Cause when you take that off, you don't wanna be looking like you just rolled out of bed. You know, so try to always stay in character. I chose AC because I think out of the four, he was the easiest one to try and, and build. The other ones were bigger. You know, there were a couple of them that are fat and then there's the one that's really tall and skinny. So um, I'm not skinny. I needed somebody with a little bit of girth but also somebody that I could conceptualize in my head and bring to life. So you can choose any raisin you want. For a great couple's costume, of course, you can be the California raisin and a raisinette. It would be so cute. Let's go ahead and get started. I know this kind of looks a mess, but we're gonna be making this costume basically out of cardboard. We're gonna use a lot of duct tape. You're gonna need hot glue. We're gonna be using Crayola Model Magic I bought white, a couple packages of brown and black for this costume. We will be using old fashioned flour and water paper mache. If you want this costume to be sustainable and maybe use it a couple years in a row, you're gonna to need to use plaster of Paris. But because 
I do this all the time. I likely will not be keeping the costume after I make it. <laughs> if I do keep it, I'll keep it in a plastic bag or encased in something so that bugs can't get to it because if you're keeping it for a long period of time, bugs, they'll eat up your paper mache. I'm an 80s girl. I was born in the 80s. California raisins were huge at the time. And anything you can get online for a California raisin is very one-dimensional. It's just kind of slip on, very flat costume. I really wanted to create a 3D California raisin. You're going to need some newspaper. You're going to need flour, a lot of hot glue, Crayola Model Magic, duct tape, cardboard. We'll get started. I have this big box and I'm going to start cutting out pieces to go with the headpiece here that I made. I'm going to have to measure the pieces to fit the bottom width of this headpiece and go around it. Now AC was a pretty thin raisin. Another reason why I chose him to do because he'll be easier. There's not so much space I have to make up for. So I'm going to take some progress shots as I go. Looks like I'm going to be using all of this cardboard for this project, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm building the raisin out of cardboard. We've got the top of him already created here with the hair and everything. And then just around here, I've got the front and then these are the sides going on here. I'm going to be using a, a lot of hot glue and a lot of Gorilla duct tape. You're just going to need a lot because we're gonna wanna really put this thing together well because we're gonna be basically putting it over our body. We're gonna be making armholes here in each side. And for the headpiece, like for inside, I'm gonna glue this in there so that it's comfortable and forgiving sitting on top of my head. I just got this, it came in one of my orders, one of my shipments of stuff that I bought. I'm just gonna glue it up into the top to make it more comfortable for my head. And also so that it's not shifting around. You're going to want something like that because it's going to be sitting directly on top of your head. So use a piece of foam if, that you have sitting around. Even a pillow would probably work. Just something that will keep it stationary. making progress with AC Raisin. I just wanted to quickly pop on and show you some of the progress that I've made and what I've been doing. We're starting now to work on the face. As you can see, I've arched above both eyes because he has kind of an arch going on up there. So I, all I did was I just took the newspaper, 
rolled it up and arched it and hot glued it on and taped it. This requires a lot of hot glue and duct tape if, you, if you're doing a raisin costume this way. And also a lot of newspaper, obviously. What I started to do here with the newspaper and on the sides and everything is, you know, when you roll a newspaper, you can either, you can do it a couple different ways. You can crumple it up and then roll up the crumpled newspaper inside of the newspaper. Or I also just use plastic bags and rolled them up inside of the newspaper when I was, you know, rolling the newspaper to give it some, a little more bulk to it. And then we're going to be paper mache over the whole thing, which believe it or not, should take less time than this did. <laughs> it's a bit of a labor of love. It's not a costume I would suggest for anybody who's claustrophobic because it is going to be, you're putting yourself in this thing and it's tight quarters in there. It's for the eyes and the eyes, that's actually a mesh material. I'm gonna be making the clay eye with the Crayola Model Magic and putting it right over that to where this is actually the pupil of the eye. I bought some pool noodles. I didn't like the height of the hair. I wanted the hair to be higher. So I went and purchased some pool noodles from the dollar store. These are dollar, you know, it's not the dollar store anymore. It's the dollar 25 store. Purchased these pool noodles. I'm gonna be making his hair taller. I will take some progress shots as I go and we'll continue with this project. going to start the process of paper mache and I'm just doing flour and water. Now the flour and water method is not very sustainable. If you wanted to save this costume for something else, you would have to have it covered very well. Probably using best plastic bags and tape because if you leave it open and you put it in a shed or in your garage, the roaches will eat your paper mache. I'm just doing this as a one-time thing. I may save it and put it in the garbage bags, like I said, tape it up real good so nothing can get into it, and that'll preserve it. If you're doing flour and water, you're just gonna wanna get it to like an Elmer's glue consistency. And then you have your pieces of newspaper here. That's about all the newspaper is good for these days. Paper mache. <laughs> I'm gonna get started with that. I'm gonna take some progress shots as I go. I'm just getting a little impatient, so I kind of want to start the process. That way I can start seeing my work. <laughs> and it's a little bit out of order. Ten generally I would do this last, but it ain't gonna hurt nothing to start doing it now. So let's get started. I've done a lot of the paper mache here. Now I'm starting to work on the face. We just made the lips and the nose. I did everything with the Crayola Model Magic. And for these pieces, I did not wait for them to dry. I wanted to be able to shape and mold them and make them bigger or whatever I needed to do while they were on the piece. That way if it looked a little out of place or if something was wrong, I could fix it while it was on. I pulled it out some from underneath because I will be putting teeth up under there. We're gonna cover these with paper mache. 
he's going to be done pretty soon. The entire piece is paper mache all the way around. All I'm going to do now is the front and all of that will go on last. Here we have the finished product. AC, the California raisin with the most. <laughs> he turned out pretty great. For this costume, I have bought these. It's like a Converse style slipper that I'm gonna be wearing. I've got a microphone as a prop. I've got the big old, you know, Mickey Mouse gloves sort of thing. And then just black hot shorts I'll be wearing underneath and some black tights and a black long sleeve top but that's all you need you can get one of those inflatable guitars you can carry a um, fake microphone or a trumpet or anything that you have will add to this costume but I think it turned out awesome I I know yours will too let's put it on much for joining me again today as you can see this costume is a labor of love but all the best costumes are it took a while for me to create like three or four weeks just because I was doing other things in between but I would say to give yourself at least a week to complete this costume you're gonna have things that need to dry you're gonna want to dry things overnight spray paint just take a break once the wheels were rolling it was very easy to finish up so really the first part getting all the paper onto the costume onto the boxes and that's the most monotonous part once you start doing the paper mache and spray painting it and seeing it come to life is the fun part and it'll go fast once you get to that point so I hope you enjoyed today's look if you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Halloween's like less than four months away. And I promise you, I have tons of more costumes coming up, at least like 20 more costumes coming up. So you're not gonna wanna miss what's coming up next. That does it for today's episode, and I'll see you next time.